People think that the best athletes have the most repeatable mechanics over and over. But what we recently proved in our motion capture lab is that the best athletes actually have the most variance early on in their delivery and funnel that to repeatable mechanics, which is where Bernstein's hammer comes into play. Bernstein's hammer is the original motion capture experiment where a blacksmith was tasked to hit an object over and over. What they found was that the most accurate expert blacksmiths had the most variation in their movement to solve the problem. It's also important to consider all of the ways that these elite athletes are collecting this information visual information caused by visual flow of how far things are away and how fast they're getting closer. Audio information that lets the hitter know how cleanly he squared up a ball. Vestibular information that uses the water in an athlete's ears to let them know where their head is relative to the ground and proprioceptive and mechanoreceptive information that lets them know how their muscles are working to know where their limbs are in space as they're moving. All of these combined pieces of information help the athlete solve what Bernstein called the degrees of freedom problem, which is that there's so many different ways that the athlete can move to accomplish the task. In order to sync all of those pieces up, you need to have direct perception of the information that your environment is giving you.